Hello my students. Today's topic in government is development of political parties in Nigeria 1, Colonial Hewa and the False Republic. So this topic is continuation of where we stopped last week. And last week we look at three political parties of the Colonial Hewa and the False Republic, such as the Nigeria National Democratic Party, NNDP, the Nigerian Youth Movement, NYM, the National Council of Nigeria and uh, Cameroon, NCNC, which later changed its names to National Convention of Nigerian Citizens. So today's topic, as a continuation of last week, we are going to look at this course outlines the first one action group party ag and uh, the second one northern people's party npc then the third one other minor political parties such as the northern element progressive union the united middle bed congress umbc the United National Independent Party UNIP, uh, the Nam Party DP, Niger Delta Congress NDC, among others. So, under these political parties of the Colonial Hewa and the First Republic, we are going to look at their origin, the date they formed, their leaders, the organizational structure has been financed. Then we proceed to the aims and objectives of each of these political party of the Colonial, Colonial Hewa and the First Republic, that is AG, NPC and other minor political parties. Then we move to the perf their performance, achievement and contributions in the political landscape. Then at the end of this class, I'm going to give you a quiz evaluation to know how far you have learned in the class today, then follow by assignments. So the learning objectives, what I expect of you at the end of this uh, class are you should be able to discuss the origin, formation, organizational structure, leadership and finance of these uh, political parties of the Colonial Hewa, First Republic, Action Group, AG, Northern People's Congress, MPC and other minor political parties of First Republic, such as the NEPU. UMBC, UI, UNIP, and uh, DC. Then also number two, you should be able to alight the aims and objectives of Action Group, AG, MPC, and other minor political parties of the False Republic. And uh, number three, you should be able to identify the performance, achievement, and contributions of these political parties of the Colonial Hewa and the False Republic, that is AG, NPC and other minor political parties. So the instructional mat materials or resources that we'll be using are the images of political parties, leaders and prominent members. That is number one. The number two, the old membership cards of AG, NPC and the party logo of NEPU, that is uh, Northern Element Progressive Union. So I came across the old party card members and I found the interest to use it in the course of this teaching and learning. And the maps of Nigerians' regions and political parties dominated by these political parties of Colonial Hewa and the False Republic. So now it comes to the action group AG. The action group, mind you, in the last week class I said that the cultural groups, ethnic groups, religious body, old boys, old girls association, all these came together to form political parties. Then during the development of poli political parties in Nigeria. So, in this action group, it was formed on the 21st March 1951 through the conversion of Egbe Omo Odudua. 
A Yoruba cultural organization founded in 1945 in London by some Yoruba students studying abroad. And it was founded by late chief Obafemi Awolowo. And other leaders of these action groups are where Chief Bode Thomas, S.L. Akintola, Alfred Rain, Chief Samuel Shunibabe, Chief Antoni Enaovo, Bola Ige, and other Yoruba traditional rulers, including the late Oni of Ife, Sir Adi Soji Adi Remi. So you can see the images of this, uh, the founder and the prominent members that made up Action Group. And the first image picture show the founder of the party action group, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, then followed by Chief Bode Thomas. And maybe you have heard of a story of uh, Chief Bode Thomas uh, uh, between him and the Alafi Oboyo, that is uh, Adenimo Adeyemi. So, whereby the Alafi of Oyo turned him to be barking like a dog. Maybe you have heard of the story. And maybe you have also heard of a street called Bode Thomas at Suro Lewe. So that's the man, Chief Bode Thomas. Then we have the next one, uh, XL, SL Akintola, that is Samuel Adoke Akintola. Then followed by Afre Wen. Then um, Chief Samuel Shunibare and Chief Samuel Shunibare was the publicity secretary then. Then the next one is uh, Chief Antoni Enavo, who was the secretary general of the action group. And uh, he was also the one that declared, that moved the motion, that sponsored the motion for in 1953 for the independence of Nigeria in 1956 but eventually we gain our independence in 1960 although there was a story around this our independence whereby the northern people said we are not ripe or mature for independence that our independence should be as soon as practicable and this caused a lot of destructive violence in the legislative council so the next one is the secretary general bola Ige, also was the secretary general of the action group at one point then the next one is the union of ife ade soji ade remi then we also have um, the Alafi of Oyo was also once the member of the party but was forced to leave the party because of what happened between him and the chief body Thomas back for him to be back in like a like a dog so the next one is the the membership card of the action group so when you look above you see action group membership card then you have the founder of the party, Chief Obafemi Awolowa, at the center between a palm tree. Then, so the aims and objectives of Action Group: one, to contest and win election every political parties. In fact, the major aim of aims aim of every political party is to win election. That's why they are contesting. So number two. To control the political affair of the western region and number three is to challenge the, polit the political dominance of the NCNC four to encourage and strengthen all tribal organization in the western region perhaps the action group is more dominant in the western region and number four to cooperate with other nationalists towards the achievement of Nigeria independence which was the aims of every political parties of the colonial era. So now comes to the performance, achievements and contributions of Action Group, AG. Then we have number one, it 
It formed the opposition party in the House of Representatives that acted as watchdog. You know, we had just need a uh, check and balance, excessiveness, misuse and abuse of power. So Action Group acted as a sole opposition party against the ruling party, the NCNC and the Northern People's Congress that merged together as one under one umbrella. So we have number two, it contested and won election in the Western region. Perhaps his, his activities was more vibrant in the Western region. Uh, it introduced free primary education in the Western region in the 1955. So I want us to note this date very well, 1955, where free primary education was introduced in the Western region. And the action group was popular with that. That is the introduction of free primary education. And just as you know, when you want to liberate the people, give them education. So number four, it plays a significant role in the nationalist struggle for Nigerian's independence, just as any political parties then. So this is more of in common. Then we have number five, it enlightened the masses with political education so which is ours to exercise a franchise right, ours to vote, who's to vote for, through so their party manifesto that they have the best to offer for the people. So this is a form of education or enlightenment of the masses on political education. So we have number six, Action Group sponsored the motion in 1953 for the independence of Nigeria in 1956. So who have gained independence even before Ghana? But Ghana gained independence before us because of this uh, rivalry among the ethnic group that are in the House of uh, Legislative Council. So we have number seven. It agitated for the 1951 constitutional reform. Then next. The next one is the Northern People's Congress, NPC. Then the Northern People's Congress, just as I said in the introduction part last week, that the Northern People's metamorphose or change from the Northern Cultural Organization, known as the Jamia Moteni Arewa, that was founded in December 1949, to the Northern People's Congress, which is a political party in October 1951. So we have the founder, such as the Obafemi, I mean, um, pardon me, uh, Amodo Bello, the founder of the political party. And the party was dominated by the Aousa Fulanese, and it had the truth on Muslim religion of Islam. So, and this, um, Sir Alaji Amadou Bedo was known as the Sadhana of Shikoto, a powerful spiritual and traditional leader. While the de deputy of the party is Sir Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa, who emerged as the Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister of Nigeria. Then the party established absolute political control in the north and had automatic northerners' obedience and allegiance since they, it is under obligation that the people have to be submissive to the leader. Why its organizational structure revolve around Islam? Then now comes to the aims and objectives of NPC. Number one is to foster the autonomy of not, not. And I hope you know the meaning of autonomy independence of the North. So we have number two is to contribute to the social, political and economic development of the North. Number four, to educate Northerners on their political and civil responsibility. In fact, there is no area in or region in Nigeria that are more enlightening on political, on how to exercise political and civil responsibility than the North. During election, you will see the northern 
turning en masse. They are well alighting because they knew that that's a destiny, unlike other region of Nigeria. That's the reality. So number four, to foster cooperation and understanding among the Northerns, not Northerners. So when you look at the right, you see the Northern People's Congress membership card. Then you have the logo at the top. You have followed by the motto of the of the party, then the name of the bearers of the card, and uh, among others, among other details. So the performance, achievement, and contributions. One, the Northern, the first Nigerian Prime Minister emerged from NPC in 1959. That is, Sir Abu Bakr Tafawa Also, the party controlled the federal government until 1966 when army took over the government. So number three, the party controlled the politics and government of the northern region till 1966 also being the dominant political party in the northern region. Number four, MPC represented the northern region in all the constitutional conferences. And number five, it fostered cooperation and understanding among the Northerners. And the last one, number six, the party helps to arouse political consciousness among the Northerners through their campaign, through their electioneering. Next. So the next one. Other minor political parties of the false republic in Nigeria. Apart from the three major political parties of NCMC, Action Group, AG, NPC, Northern People's Congress, Nigeria multi-party system gave rise to other minor political parties that were formed as a result of disagreement within major parties. And because of this disagreement, then the members started uh, creating a faction, a new party was, or new parties were being established. Some of them include the following political parties, but not all. Of, but not all these political parties came as a result of uh, disagreements and uh, faction. So, and having explained the meaning of party system, that the number of political party operating a country and multi-party system when the party is more than two two or more political parties being operated in the country and uh, Nigeria permit multi-party system the 1999 constitution as amended but we want parties two party system during the third republic of Ibrahim Bada Mosiba Bangida regime then some countries of the world also parties two party system like United States of America is popularly known for two party system the Republican and the Democrats uh, why China is popular with one party system the Communist Party so we have the Northern Element Progressive Union that was the first political party in the Northern Nigeria in fact this party was was established before the Northern People's um, before the Northern People Congress. It was established in the 1950 August 8, 1950, by late Malam Aminu Kanu. And this party was radical and democratic. It became the main. It became the main opposition party in the northern Nigerian against MPC after the region was granted self-government in the 1950s. And you can see the founder of this polit of the political party, late Malam Aminu Kanu, uh, with the party logo below, black, green, and red, with with star, the white star, silver star at the middle. Then the next one is the United Middle Belt Congress, U, 
MBC and it was founded by J.S. Tucker and its political activity were, was concentrated in the Middle Belt and demand for the creation of Middle Belt region out of the Northern region. Although the next slide I'm going to show you the Middle Belt region that lies between the North and the South. So the next one is the United National Independent Party, UNIP, that was founded by Professor Eyo Ita. It was a splinter party from NCNC and had cooperation with Action Group. The other next ones are other minor and splinter political parties that were formed in the First Republic and they include the Dr. Chike Obi led Dynamic Party, DP, a mathematician. The Niger Delta Democratic Congress, the Niger Delta Congress, NDC, the Northern United Front, LUF, the Nigerian New Democratic Party, NNDP, led by SL Akintola, that is Samuel Laduke Akintola, and the Bonum Youth Movement, BYM, among other political parties of a false republic. So regions in Nigeria and the political parties dominated by by them in the false republic. So we have a map of Nigeria. We have a northern region, the western region, and the eastern region. Then the northern region, NPC, Northern People's Congress, is greater than, is more dominant. Why the northern element progressive union is less than, is less dominant in the north. Now we have in the western region, action group is greater than, so is more dominant in the western region. Then we come to the eastern region, NCNC, that is uh, National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon, that later changes names to National Convention of Nigeria Citizens, is greater than, so is more dominant in the eastern region. And they are more dominant because even the founder of the political parties came from that region like MPC now is founded by Sir Alaji Amod Bedo and this NEPU less dominant was founded by Malam Aminu Kano AG Obafemi Awolowo NCNC by Inamdi Azikwe. So the next map is the region is a map of Nigeria showing the region of the middle the middle bed the middle bed so you can see is is between the middle of the north and the south then there is a chip there is a chip I was showing the uh, carve out of the middle bed so in the middle bed we are talking about the middle bed we are talking about Ninja we are talking about Kwara State, we are talking about Kogi State, Benue State, Tletu State, including the Nasawa State and including the fe uh, Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, also fall in the Middle Belt region. And this Middle Belt region is less dominant, is less than, so is less dominant in the Middle Belt. And that is United Middle Belt Congress by J. S. Taka. So now comes to the quiz section. Question number one The Action Group AG was founded in Dash A. October 1951, B. March 1950, C. March 1951, and D. March 1945. Question number two, action group emerged from the conversion of Dash Group. A. Egbo Dua. B. Jamia Muteni Arewa. C. Indigo Forum. D. Northern Element Progressive Association. Question number three, one of the following is the founder of action group. A. Amodo Belos. B. 
Opa feme a wolowo si Antonie Nawo di Bolaige. Question number four. The prominent members of Action Group include the following except Dash. A. Samuel Akitola B. Afewen C. Bode Thomas D. Eyoita. Question number five. Dash Party moved the 1953 motion for Nigeria independence by Dash. A. Action Group Opafemi Awolowo. B. Action Group Samuel Laduki Akitola. C. Action Group Antonio Enawo. And D. Northern People's Congress Amod Bello. Question number six. The political parties that dominated the western and northern regions of Nigeria are Dash and Dash respectively. A. Action Group and MPC. B. MPC and AG. C. AG and NC. NC and D. NPC and uh, LP. Question number seven. The two prominent Secretary General of Action Groups group are Dash and Dash. A. S. L. Akintola and Alfred Rain. B. Samuel Shobanewe and Bode Thomas. C. Ade Soji, Ade Remi and Bolaigi. And D. Antonio Nawo and Bolaigi. Question number eight. Which of the following political party is popularly known to introduce free primary education at the Western region? A. MPC. B. UMBC. C. AG and D. NEPU. Question number nine. Northern People's Congress was founded in Dash by Dash. A. 951 by Tafawa Balewa. B. This is B. B. 1951 by Amadou Bello. C. 1950 by Amadou Bello. And uh, D. 1950 by Aminu Kanu. Question number 10. MPC emerged from Dash. A. Jamia Muteni Arewa. D. Northern Element Progressive Association. C. Egbe Omodudua. And D. Indigo Forum. Question number 11. The organizational structure of MPC is voted in Dash. A. Christianity. B. Progressiveness. C. Islam. And D. Radicalism. Question number 12. One of the following political party produced the Prime Minister of Nigeria in the First Republic. A. NPC. B. NCNC. C. AG. And D. NEPU. Question number 13. The founding leader of Northern Element Progressive Union was Dash. A. Amadou Bello. B. Kafa Balewa. C. Waziri Ibrahim. And D. Aminu Kanu. Question number 14. The founding leader of the United Middle Belt Congress was Dash. A. J. S. Taka. B. S. L. Akintola. C. A. Ruen. And D. Itayo. And the last question, question number 15. The founding leader of the Dynamic Party, DP, was Dash. A. Aminu Kano. B. Itayo. C. J. S. Taka. And D. Chike Obi. So, you can submit your quiz or evaluations to this number below. Why the assignments are state the problems of the pre independence political parties in Nigeria. What are the problems confronting the political parties before independence during the colonial era? Then question number two, discuss the political party alliance or coalition of the First Republic in Nigeria. That is, discuss those parties that merge together to form alliance against another political party. So, do the assignment inside your school note after copying the lesson notes. Thank you.